Brother Virgil is responsible for these deaths. If you want him to face judgment, you will have to report what happened to the Mother Cardinal. You are right. As soon as we get back to civilization, I will make sure that she hears about it. Alas. We will have to go back to Eden as well. There are too few of us to continue the research. Were you hoping to discover more? Of course. This place was but a single step in St. Matthias's journey. The last tablets speak of a journey northbound, further up in the swamp. But even if Virgil is no longer a threat, we are not sufficiently well equipped to go there. We could go there for you if you wish. You just have to tell us where to look. That would be marvelous. Of course, you would have to start from the excavation site where he wrote this. I think I noticed a path going north when I was there, actually. Look for any traces of life. Perhaps you will be lucky enough to find more of his writings. That would be fantastic. Don't worry. I will conduct this research and come find you here if I uncover anything. look for a sheltered area. Another one of those monsters. To my help! And death to the others! Watch out! Grenade! Move away! Things are about to get dancing! Cavern! If I were an old hermit, this is probably where I'd have settled. Someone lived here. No doubt about that. We'll have to turn the place upside down if we want to make sure that the old man kills
These murals probably have a religious meaning. If the saint came here, this must have been where he lived. Let's take a closer look at these paintings. We may learn something from them. This mural is very ancient. It depicts an old man dressed as a priest getting his face painted by a masked native. This mural depicts an old man praying in front of a face in the mountain. He's holding a rosary, Saint Matthias, praying to Enon Miel Frichtemann. I don't know these glyphs, but these spirals are native symbols. There are some words in our ancient language next to them. The light and the earth are the two faces of a same power. It's impossible to know if this is a translation or another sentence. But this is a message that would seriously displease the Inquisitors. Engraved tablets. They resemble the ones we recovered in Eden. We should take them with us. The researchers would be delighted to study them. There are some native symbols here. And some letters I recognize as if someone had tried to write in the native language using our alphabet. Menduis dad, enon mil frictimen. This is incredible. Saint Matthias would have known about the spirit of the island and would have prayed to him. It looks like a chaplet made of pewter. It's rather basic but it was made a long time ago, and it undeniably comes from the continent. I seem to recall that their saint is often described as using a similar object. Incredible. That should make the entire University of al Saad howl with laughter. The saint founder of Teleme worshipped the natives' gods. I would appreciate it if what we just discovered stayed a secret for the time being. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I find this so amusing. I wonder what I should do with these relics. Eugenia probably didn't imagine that Saint Matthias lived his life in a way that's so different from what they advocate. As for Virgil, he wasn't wrong. Such a revelation will certainly cause a schism in Teleme. To think these old things could cause a civil war. Or long-lasting peace with the natives. It is a serious responsibility to decide what to do with them. But it isn't ours. Their saint, their decision. I already took sides in their quarrel. If I change my mind, I'm afraid that it might be seen as treason. I'll think about it on the way there. Let's go back to the researchers' camp. <laughs> 